brewery was founded in 85 by Casper Peterson, who was a musician. He wrote hit records. So he made some money and then decided to make uh, his own beer in a professional way. Um, so he started here in this former uh, bathhouse where people used to come and uh, take showers because they didn't have hot water in their own houses. He made beers that were uncommon to Dutch people, so no pilsners, but more Belgian style or more uh, unfiltered, unpasteurized beers. We had those beers in our bars in Amsterdam, and in every bar we always had a beer for, from Brouwerij Ei on draft. So we came, uh, came here a lot to collect our kegs, and uh, it seemed like a really relaxed operation, and uh, in the end, uh, it seemed like a far more relaxed operation than what we were having with all these bars and personnel and staff. We asked if we could come and work here, which we could, so we worked here and in our bars. And then after a year, Kasper asked us if we would be interested to, to take over the brewery, which we did. There's two waters basically in Amsterdam. You have a river, uh, the Amstel, and you have the big river on the, in the divides north and the center, that's uh, it's I. And uh, Amstel Brewery was already taken, the name. So the name that was left over was Brouwerij het Ei. The windmill is uh, actually our neighbor. Uh, you can see it on the uh, labels of our beers. Is the highest wooden windmill in Holland because it's in a city. It's in, this is the center of Amsterdam. So it had to be high to catch some wind. In here we had a washing machine for our bottles which is a huge machine, but it took a lot of chemicals to wash these bottles, um, a lot of uh, steam, a lot of power. So we switched to uh, one-way bottles. Uh, so no more crates, just boxes with uh, one-way bottles, which we're pretty happy with now. Economically, it's not very wise, because, well, it actually costs money, because every time you have to buy a new bottle, but it uh, saves a lot of hassle, and with this, uh, space shortage that we have. Uh, we couldn't have had deposit bottles because it would just take too much space for cleaning and storage. We were growing. Uh, we thought it would be essential to really keep an eye on the quality of our beer. So we've now built a lab uh, in, our, in our new brewery. We test every tank every day and now we can measure everything. So it's just, okay, we need more of this, we need less of that. And uh, yeah, quality has never been higher. So uh, that is a good thing. It's mostly also fun when you meet somebody in the street and that says, hey man, I just tasted your new beer because we make a lot of new beers. Uh, great and super and best beer I've ever tasted. And that actually happens. Uh, so that is great. How many people are being held up in the street like, hey, I just tasted your new beer and it's the best beer I've ever tasted. For us, it's just the greatest place to, to go to work in, in, in a brewery and make these beers and at the end of the day, uh, you know, have, have a taste and uh, have a couple. Uh, and it's always a celebration to drink, uh, to drink nice beers. Mm -hmm.